Somewhere hidden amongst thorny brambles is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Great Elf Tree. A trip to the seaside. There, fully wound up. Let's set off to the seaside. But, Dad, we have to wait for Princess Holly. Well, where is she? It's almost nine o'clock. Dum dee dum dee doo doo dum dee. Where is Holly? Relax, Mr. Elf. We're on holiday. But Princess Holly's late. Fairies are always late. Dum dee dum. Hi, Ben. Oh, hi, Holly. I'm not too early, am I? No, Princess Holly. You're just in time. <clears throat> now we're all here. Let's go. We might make the seaside by lunchtime. <laughs> To get to the seaside quickly, I could try magicking us there. Um, I'd rather you didn't do any magicking today, Holly. Oh, sorry, Mr. Elf. You see, Holly, you're coming on an elf day trip. Elves don't do magic, and, and we're, we're elves. elves. <laughs> Hop in, everyone. Seaside, here we come. Here's the timetable. One o'clock, eat lunch. Two, play in the sand. Three, tidy up. Four, leave seaside, arriving home at 4.30 precisely. Dad, it's a holiday. Sorry, Ben. It's just that I'm not used to having a day off. You work too hard, Mr Elf. Please try and relax today. <sighs> I'll do my best, Mrs Elf. Seaside. Yippee! The sea! And sand! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love the seaside. Come on, let's have lunch. Good idea. I'm hungry. Me too. Here's our picnic basket. Ooh, I love picnic baskets. You just tell them what you want and they make Magic up food. <laughs> this is an elf picnic. There won't be any magic. Oh. Mrs. Elf always makes a really lovely picnic. Thanks, Mr. Elf. But of course you made the picnic this time. Didn't you make it? Um, oh. What's wrong? We forgot to bring the picnic. We just brought an empty basket. But that's what I was saying. We fairies always take an empty basket on picnics. Magic basket, please. Can I have, um, spaghetti bolognese? Oh, it's still empty. That's because... It isn't a magic basket. It's just an empty basket. Can't it even magic us a packet of crisps? No. Oh. Uh, Holly, remember what I said about not needing any magicking today? Yes, Mr. Elf? Well, this is an emergency. So if you wouldn't mind doing a bit of... Magicking! You want me to do magicking? Yes, yes please. please. Hmm. I do know a spell for... Magic jelly? <gasps> no! Not magic jelly! Right. Too dangerous. Hmm, I could try an ice cream spell. That's easy. And there's no chance of that spell going wrong. Silly Ben. Spells nearly always go a bit wrong. That's what makes them fun. Well, without magic, we're not going to have anything to eat. That's right. Please, Holly, do your spell. Abracadabra. Ice cream. Hooray! I'm afraid it 
it's only vanilla. Mm. I don't know how to magic other flavours yet. That's fine. Vanilla is my favourite. <laughs> Delicious! Maybe magic can be useful sometimes. Thank you, Princess Holly. <laughs> You're welcome. Ah, what shall we do next? Make sandcastles. I love making sandcastles. Hmm, what's the spell for sandcastles? Holly, you don't need a spell to make sandcastles. You fill the bucket with sand, turn it over, give it a tap, and bingo! A sandcastle! Cool! Can I have a go? Ho, ho, ho! We'll make an elf of you yet, Holly. Can we build a castle big enough for us to go inside? <laughs> We'd need a huge bucket to make a sandcastle that big. Uh, like that one. That's a very huge bucket. It must have been left by big children. There aren't any big people here now. Good thing. Big people have big feet, and you never know where they're going to step. Look, they've left some spades. Let's build a big sandcastle for Princess Holly. It can be our thank you for lunch. Good idea, Mr Elf. Can I help? No, no, no. Please just relax and enjoy watching elves doing what elves do best. What do elves do best? Elves are best at making things. And we're elves! <laughs> Deep ho, deep ho, deep ho, deep, deep ho, deep, 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 deep. Deep ho, deep ho, over you go, over you go. Princess Holly. Would you do the honours by tapping the bucket? <laughs> lift ho, lift ho. Bingo! Can we go inside? But there isn't a door. I'll soon sort that out. There's your door. <laughs> Since this is our very own castle, I've decided I'm not Princess Holly anymore. I'm Queen Holly. And I am King Ben. <laughs> 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 my, my, it's almost home time. Oh, Dad, can't we stay in the castle a little bit longer? But the tide will be coming in soon and... Please, Mr Elf, please can we stay a bit? Just a little bit, then. We'll pack the car, but you must come when we call you. Yes, Mum! We promise. Oh, look, the sea is coming closer. That's great. Soon the castle will have a moat. Oh! Holly almost left her wand behind. Talking of Holly, let's fetch the children. I don't want to go home. I want to stay in our castle forever and ever. Oh, goodness. Look how high the sea is. Ben, Holly, leave the castle now. We can't leave. The sea's too high. Holly, you can fly to the shore. OK. No, it's too windy. Uh, Holly, maybe it's time to do a little magic. Yes, I'll just wave my wand and... Oh, where's my wand? Here's your wand, Holly. I can throw it to you. But what if it falls in the sea? Don't worry, Holly. Mrs Elf is very good at throwing things. And I'm great at catching. <laughs> OK. Don't worry, Wand. Ready, Ben? Yes, Mum! One, two, three, roll! <laughs> Hooray! Thanks, Ben. Now for the magic in bit. Sun, sea and sand. Put Ben and me on dry land. <laughs> Have you back, Wand? 
I knew Ben would catch you. Thanks, Holly. And I knew you could magic us to safety. Yes, the rescue was a perfect mix of fairy magic and elf skill. Here's to elf skill. And here's to fairy magic. <laughs> Somewhere hidden amongst thorny brambles is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Little Castle. The Elf Factory. What's the plan for today, Nanny Plum? You're visiting the Elf Factory. Why? Well, Your Majesty, it's a very busy time of the year for the Elf Factory. What with Christmas coming up? So, what's that got to do with me? You have to inspect the toys and make sure they are perfect. <laughs> that sounds fun. Well, it's not fun, Holly. The toys are always perfect and all I say is, they're perfect. Do I have to go? Well, someone has to. They're expecting a royal visit. I could go and I could say the toys are perfect. Yes, why not? And Nanny Plum can go along too to look after you. Oh, goody! Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. We've come to see the Elf Factory. Do you know where it is? Of course I do. I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> so where is it? Follow me. <laughs> Factory reception. Good morning. Can I help you? Hello. Princess Holly is here for the royal visit. I see. Could you sign in, please? Uh, what do I do? Just put your name and job. My name is Princess Holly, and my job is being a pretty fairy princess. Very good. Now you will need these hard hats. <laughs> And I notice you have wands. Yes, we're fairies. I'll need to take your wands. No magic is allowed in the elf factory. Elves don't do magic. And we are elves. <laughs> oh, now... Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> the factory is very busy today. We have a big toy order for Father Christmas. Wow! Is that Father Christmas? Oh, I shouldn't think so, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, Mr Christmas. Can I speak to the wise old elf? Yes, yes. I shall get him right away. <laughs> Telephone call for the wise old elf. Please, Please report, report to reception, reception immediately. immediately. Hello, Princess Holly. Hello, wise old elf. It's Father Christmas. Oh, excuse me a moment. Hello? Hello, wise old elf. Will those dolls be ready in time for Christmas? Yes, Mr Christmas. We'll definitely have the dolls ready today. And you will make sure they have a pretty red dress, won't you? Yes, she'll have a lovely red dress. Thank you. Goodbye. Is this the doll you're making for Father Christmas? Yes. We're making hundreds of them, and they have to be ready today. Can we see how you make them? Of course. This way, we'll be taking the train. Ooh. All aboard. First stop, level one, the computer room. Hold tight, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Level one, the computer room. <laughs> that was fun. 
It made my tummy all funny. Good, wasn't it? And it'll be even better next time. What do you mean, next time? <laughs> You'll see. Follow me. This is where we decide what the toys will look like. Don't you just make it up as you go along? Oh, no, no, no. The toys are designed to the very last detail. Nothing is left to chance. Gosh, it seems like a lot of hard work to me. We pride ourselves on our thoroughness. This is where we choose the colours. That's the doll for Father Christmas. Yes. Now, for example, if I wanted to, I could change the colour of the doll's dress from red to blue. Blue dress. The elf factory would then know to paint the doll's dress blue. But Father Christmas wants the dress red. Of course he does, Princess Holly. That was just an example. All aboard! Next stop, the elf factory. Oh, we don't have to go down again, do we? <laughs> yes, Nanny. The factory is deep down in the roots of the tree. How deep down? Very, Very deep down. Oh. <laughs> All aboard! We're not going down very much. Just you wait, Tolly. Next stop, level 99. Hold tight! <gasps> <Whoa>! oh. <laughs> oh, my coming! This is fun! Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Level 99, the Elf Factory. And the Gloop Machine. The what? The Gloop Machine. <laughs> wow. This way, Princess Holly. Please feel free to ask any questions. <laughs> OK. Hello. What do you do? I pull this lever, Princess. <laughs> what else do you do? I pull this lever and the gloop comes out. Don't you get bored? Elves never get bored. And I'm an elf. Thank you. Now, moving on. That's the moulding machine. Ooh. And what do you do? I press this button. All day? Yes, all day. You must be very patient. Elves are very patient, and I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> what happens next? Next is the paint room. This is where the toys are painted. What fun! Hello, everybody. Hello, Every elf has their bit to paint. One paints the eyes, another the mouth, and another the hair. Amazing! I thought it would be all done by machine. No. We do it all by hand. It looks such hard work. Elves like hard work. And we're elves! Well, thank goodness I'm a fairy. Shush, Nanny. Once the dress is painted, the doll goes through to the dryer. And then it's packed, ready for delivery. And here we are, the finished doll. A perfect example of elf workmanship. Isn't the doll's dress supposed to be red? What? Oh, oh you're quite right, Princess Holly. Oh, never mind. Some mistakes occur when you're making so many dolls. But they've all got blue dresses. Oh, she's right. We'll have to unpack them all and paint them again. But there's not enough time. I could sort this out in a moment with a bit of magic. Magic is not allowed in the elf factory. OK. I'll just ring up Father Christmas and tell him what's happened. <gasps> I'm sure he'll understand. No, no. Don't ring Father Christmas. Uh, maybe Nanny Plum can use a bit of magic just this once. Good. First, I need my wand. 
Wand. Ahem. Blue to red. Okay, it works. <laughs> Thank you. It was nothing really, just a simple spell. A chair for Nanny Plum, please. What's this for? One down, 999 to go. Oh. Blue to red. Blue to red. Blue to red. <laughs> Gosh, Nanny, you must be so patient. Yes, Nanny Plum, we'll make an elf of you yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an elf. <laughs> Somewhere hidden amongst thorny brambles is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Great Elf Tree. Ben's birthday card. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Ben! ben. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your card. Core! A space rocket. And here's your present. Wow! A space mobile. We made it ourselves. <laughs> Thanks, Mum. Thanks, Dad. And later, all your friends will be coming to your birthday party. Cool. Who can that be? Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. You're a bit early for my party. A uh, party? Have you brought me a birthday card? A uh, birthday card? Holly, you haven't forgotten my birthday, have you? Oh, uh, uh, happy birthday, Ben. <laughs> Thanks, Holly. Uh, I've just got to pop back home for something. Oh! See you later. Cotton Ben's birthday. <laughs> Milk, sugar, flour, and an egg. Good. Let's do some baking. Hocus pocus. Nanny Plum! Nanny Plum! <laughs> I've forgotten Ben's birthday. Oh, don't worry, my little one. He'll have another birthday next year. No, no. It's really important. I have to do something for this birthday. Ben is my best friend. Oh. I've got to make a birthday card really quickly, but I don't know where to start. What you need is a little magic to get you going. Ahem. Milk, flour, egg and sugar, paint, brushes, card and glitter. <laughs> Thanks, Nanny. Now, I've got a very nice spell for making birthday cards. It goes... Hocus Pocus Plinkety Plonk. Nanny Plum! Oh. i better go and see what King Thistle wants. Nanny Plum! Yes, Your Majesty? Mm. This chair is a bit hard. Can you do a magic spell to make me more comfortable? Oh, King Thistle, you lazy thing. You could do a magic spell yourself. But my wand is over there. Oh, OK. Humphy, lumpy, dumpy, make King Thistle nice and comfy. Ah, that's better. And some music, please. Oh. Tra-la-la, tra-la-lin. Music, please, with violin. 
Ah, lovely. Thank you. You can go now, Nanny Plum. Ooh. Now, where were we? You just said hocus pocus, plinkety plonk. Oh, yes. Ahem. <clears throat> hocus pocus, plinkety Nanny Plum! Oh, bother. What can he want now? Nanny! I want a cup of tea! Yes, yes, coming! Uh, this card will never get made. I'll just have to do the magic myself. Now, what was Nanny's spell? Hmm. Ah, oh, yes. Hocus Pocus Plinkety Plonk. Uh, how about make me a birthday card super duper quick? <laughs> I'll do a stronger spell to make you go faster. Sam, hop, zip, pow! More, bigger, faster, now! There's your tea, Your Majesty. Will that be all? Yes, thank you. Mummy! Help! Help! Goodness me! Nanny! Make the magic stop! Thunder and lightning, north winds blow! Magic spells, away you go! Nanny, you stopped it. Yes, but I've had to stop all the fairy magic in the castle. Oh. Oof! What happened to the magic? Ahem. There was a little problem in the kitchen and I've had to stop all the fairy magic in the castle for one day, Your Majesties. Sorry. Oh. And the weather in the Little Kingdom today will be bright and sunny everywhere. Hang on. If you've stopped all the magic in the castle, why is the TV still working? Uh, the TV's not magic. Isn't it? Really? Oh. oh. If there's no magic today, how can I make Ben a birthday card? Well, you could make the card by hand. Really? Could I? And I can help you. Uh, Nanny Plum, I think you'll be busy cleaning up the kitchen. That will take but a moment with my fairy magic wand. But there isn't any magic. You've stopped all the magic for one day. Oh, yes. Mmm. This will be fun, too. I think I'll start with a picture of Ben. <laughs> it's easy doing things without magic. Yes, really easy. Now, lots of kisses for Ben. And some sparkly glitter. Yes, it's amazing what can be done without using magic. Yes, Nanny Plum, it is. <laughs> <laughs> now quick, or you'll be late for Ben's birthday party. <laughs> Ben's going to love his birthday. 
my card. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, Ben. Come in. <laughs> <laughs> I've made you a card. Thanks, Holly. Ben's had lots of lovely cards today. I made my card with magic. Wow. I made my card with a computer. Oh. I bought mine from a shop. That's nice. Holly, can I have your card now, please? Uh, it isn't very good. I didn't use magic or a computer or buy it from a shop. Uh, I made it myself. You mean you didn't just use magic? Wow, it's fantastic! Ooh! <laughs> Happy, Happy birthday, Ben! <laughs> Actually, Ben, I did forget your birthday. Yes, I know. You always forget my birthday. Do I? Yes, but it doesn't matter. You're still my best friend. <laughs> <laughs>